I actually have a few worries about this before using it. It's a 600 re pure elemental damage weapon that, well, it says, it's the description that has this from me. Of course, if you do want to build this, just like the secondary that came with it, five pre-built field run, which could take a long time to build those five, 25 control modules, fairly easy, just do anything in the void, you'll get that pretty easily. 925 chaotic, could be a, a bit of a pain to get, but not really, considering you can get 100 per machine from excavation missions. That's fairly easy, and a built format as well. Uh, I have to take Sweeper off my Sentinel before I can actually start using shotgun mods. Which I'm glad that did this with because it was a visual thing that allowed you to know this in advance. I just swap it out and instantly you, you can actually start putting the proper mods in. I really did like that touch. Weirdly, unlike normal shotguns, this thing kind of fires weirdly. It shoots, it's almost like a wave, but apparently it only has a max range of 30, which is supposedly quite insane. 30 meters isn't really that far, but shotguns are meant to be close range anyway. Apart from that, it has a fairly slow reload, which can be problematic Considering the magazine is 6 and the fire rate is only 1.1, it does still have a fair few rounds for a shotgun to kind of counter that whole 2.8 reload, taking, I don't want to say a long time to reload because that animation for reload does look pretty nice, but it was a very weird weapon to use. The first time I actually used this, I kind of thought, Eh, that's not so effective and then I came across a few enemies at once and found out this thing has a rather high inert punch through for the first few enemies that it actually hits. It's only on enemies though, apparently this doesn't work on walls, which is something I'll admit I've never tried shooting it through a wall because that's what the Zenith's for. It has the 100% punch through, unless of course there's two walls, in which case it doesn't work anyway, so. You can of course mod it for things like punch through, but I'm not gonna bother showing it because I basically put in the four elemental mods, primed point blank, um, Hell's Chamber, and I did throw the vicious spread on here. It adds 90% extra damage, but it also adds 60% spread, which m should have made the rounds bigger. I have no idea if that worked or not, but the plus 90% damage is very useful to have. The same could go for a mod like Blaze. It'll add 60% heat and 60% damage at the same time, instead of things like Scattering Inferno, which will add the same 60% heat, but it will only add status chance. This thing, it can go to 100% status, but as I said before, I just threw the four dual stat mods in and it only went to about 99.9%. .9 With Hell's Chamber in there, you could of course add any of the other uh, status chance mods and it would take it to 100. But it doesn't really need to, because instead of it shooting, I don't want to say hundreds, but lots of little pellets, it shoots one giant wave. And it was the way this thing fired that made this a little bit more fun to use. The first time I shot it, I will admit it was, I thought it was kind of weird to be using shotgun mods on what is basically an energy sh wave shooting primary. But it was a, very quickly, I kind of realized it's shooting through enemies. This only happens on enemies, it won't work through walls, but it is a very interesting weapon to have played with. Its build cost, it's the five fieldren that make it kind of expensive to build, but it's more expensive time consuming than anything else. But it was 
a nice change to shotgun style weapons. There's a few different weapons that use it, like the Phage, which is kind of a weird shotgun because it shoots waves that, well, beams, that come into one generalized beam. This shot waves and I would love to say like all shotguns you should build it towards multi-shot which is why I'm not going to show my build because I cannot settle on what I want to do with this but because it seems to shoot one thing I'm not sure if it's actually worth building it for multi-shot or not hence I'm just not going to show my build because it's kind of rubbish if I'm honest despite the fact it has over 9800 blast it has five and a half thousand radiation with six and a half thousand corrosive it's just it's not where I would like this thing to be by the time that I actually do this but it's a weird new take on shotguns that is very weirdly kind of fun you don't have to have amazing aim to use a weapon like this some shotguns that doesn't really matter anyway and at close range most shotguns will take out a lot of enemies fairly quickly it's the fact that it's got that punch through for the first few enemies it hits that made it quite a fun little weapon to play with with the higher level stuff however the damage fall off at range yeah you don't really want to go face to face with level 150s because they will just end you pretty quickly so this thing's much more fun on the lower level stuff than it is on the higher level stuff. It's still useful on high level stuff, but keeping enemies at range is definitely a better idea than getting in their face with something like this. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.